climbed up this eight foot warehouse shelving and I crawled to the back to this pallet. I opened up this bundle. And as soon as I looked at it again, I realized for sure what we had was The Bust of John Brown by Edward Brackett. And I could not believe it. Edward Brackett had created a small handful of other portrait busts of abolitionists and Civil War figures. Those busts have found their way into these prestigious collections like the National Portrait Gallery and the Metropolitan Museum. And here we were, Tufts University, with this fantastic, powerful sculpture that had been, in a way, under our nose all this time. The original marble bust had had this ripple effect and had become an icon of the abolitionist movement plaster copies had been made. And even Harriet Tubman actually stood in front of one of these busts. And she had known John Brown in life and took one look at the bust and said, it wasn't John Brown that died. It was the savior of our people. She had been so moved by this object. Copies of the bust were given to people that were supporters of the abolitionist movement here in Boston, such as Wendell Phillips and Franklin Sanborn, and as far away as Victor Hugo, who had been living in exile at the time and was writing Les Mis. And he had supported John Brown and was invested in this movement. The bust was also photographed, and cabinet cards had been made that had been disseminated as, again, as icons of the abolitionist movement. It was as if the bust had this far-reaching life that I never could have dreamed would be the same bust that was strapped to the pallet in storage.